Welcome to Texas All-Star Wrestling. Steve Stack here at ringside. We'll be going into the ring in just a couple minutes to bring you the exciting action. A lot of matches lined up for you. You'll see the 405-pound Terminator. He's here today. Also, Shawn Michaels, the man we've been telling you about, San Antonio Zone. He'll be making his appearance in the opening match here on Texas All-Star Wrestling today. The Hood, a masked man. You'll get a look at him plus much, much more. So don't go away. Texas All-Star Wrestling, one hour of excitement coming up in just a little while. Here with me is Al Madrill, who was here all the whole hour last week, and it seems like so many fans have written Why don't you in. let me talk, Stagger? People are tired of listening to you anyway. Listen, I got a few things I want to say. All these people around here are calling me a turncoat. Well, what about this Terminator? He's done the same thing, huh? Nobody says nothing he about him. Light. Oh, he saw the light. He saw Jose Lothario, that punch drunk. I want, I want Lothario more than anything else. And then Lothario has the audacity to bring Shawn Michaels in here. And who's Shawn Michaels? Who'd he ever beat? Oh, he Let him beat Al Madrill, baby. And that'll never happen, Shawn Michaels. You better have Lothario with you. You better have the Terminator with you. I don't care who they have. But I'll tell you one thing. What do you want to say? I'm going to say you shouldn't get so wound up. We've got a whole hour to go, and you're supposed to be out here. Hey, I'm not worried about that hour. I'll tell you what. Chavo Guerrero and myself, we're going to take care of this Terminator Lothario anytime. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go away, because the opening match is coming up right after this. to this crowd going wild. You know, I have never seen this young man in the ring, but there's a cheering section over there saying, we love Shawn Michaels and Al Madrill. I don't know what's the matter. Why are you pacing around the stage? <laughs> I'm pacing because I'm waiting to see what this so-called protege of Jose Lotario can do, baby. That's what I'm doing. Well, we're going to find out right now as he takes on Al Tijano. And in behind it goes El Tejano. Look at Michaels with, with a goal behind and a takedown. A little riding time. <laughs> it's going to take a little more than that. You know, I can't take anything away from Jose Lotario. He is a great wrestler. He's a legend in his own mind, of course. But, you know, him showing this Sean Phillips how to wrestle, that's the blind leading Sean the blind. Michael. Well, Sean Michael, whatever. What's the difference? Michaels hooks up with Al Tejano. Remember, Michaels went to school at Randolph Air Force Base here in San Antonio. He was wrestling over in Kansas City in St. Louis. Oh, a nice move there from Sean. A good arm drag, and down goes Al Tejano. Jose Lothario is at ringside cheering him on. <laughs> yeah, you see what Jose taught him to pull the hair. Did you see that, Steve? That's what he did already. Yeah, a great wrestler, great wrestler. Let me ask you, how, how did you see Jose pass that on? I didn't see it. <laughs> see, that's the type of man you are, Stag, just like the rest of these fans that watch these matches. They don't really pay attention. They pay attention to the wrong side. I'm the right side. And if these people would listen to me, they know what the best. Shawn Michaels dives into the muscle of the left arm of Al Tiano. That crowd across the way going wild. Welcome home, Sean Signs. We love Sean Sign. They haven't stopped cheering since he came out of the dressing room. What, am I supposed to get excited, Steve? Let Sean Phillips, or Sean Michaels, I'm sorry, wrestle Al Madrill or Chavo Guerrero. Let's see what happens then. There goes Al Tejano getting rid of Michaels for just a moment. The referee, Fred Sinclair, warning Al Tejano about the hair pulling. What I want to know in the first place, and you tell me this, Stack, what is Jose Lothario even doing out here? He doesn't have no seconds license. He doesn't have any kind of license. He has no business being in the corner. He's probably going to interfere in the match. I know that type of guy. Uh, he took Shawn Michaels when Shawn Michaels was out at Randolph Air Force Base High School. He trained Shawn Michaels. He sent him on a tour around the world, and the young man was voted Rookie of the Year over in the St. Louis, Kansas City area. Jose called him up and said, Sean, come on home, I need you. And here he is. He needs him. Yeah, Jose Lothario needs all the help he can get. And I'll tell you one thing, he hasn't gotten anything yet. This Sean Michaels, yeah, he does look like a great young boy, but this is a man's business, Steve Stack. Well, look at him go over the top, turn around the drop kick, laid it right on the chin, a nice arm drag. Oh, Sean Michaels, well, he's impressing me. Oh, well, you know, anything impresses you, Steve. You're, you're that type of man. You're easy to be impressed. But I'll tell you what, he hasn't impressed me yet. Yeah, he's made a few good moves. I got to say that, Steve. But he's not in there with the likes of the Chavo Guerreros, the Hacksaw Higgins, the Al Madrills. And need I go on? Yeah, of course, you're listening to Al Madrill. And 
Shawn Michaels holds on to that arm of El Tiano here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Tiano raped the fingers up around the eyes and then he comes back badly. In behind with a forearm. A forearm across the chest. Michaels comes back with one of his own. There's a kick from El Tiano. He grabs Michaels, bounces him off the rope, gets an elbow up, staggers him, puts him down to the mat on his knee. You see that? That just goes to show you right there, saying no matter how young or how good you think you are, you can be put down. Nice knee lift there from Shawn Michaels. Sends El Tiano down to the mat. Shawn Michaels reaches down, grabs the head of El Tiano. Now he reaches in, has him up for a slam right in the center of the ring. Here comes Michaels with a knee across the head of El Tiano. <laughs> You're still impressed, aren't you, Steve Stack? You're very impressed by this kid, aren't you? I sure am. Well, I'm not. Michaels going over into the corner now. Here's Michaels up on the corner, and Michaels dies. Yeah, El Tiano out of the way. Hey, what a smart move that was, Steve Stacks, on the Tejano's part right there. Well, Jose Lothario into the corner, just watching Shawn Michaels in the ring. Right now, it's El Tiano having Shawn Michaels into the corner. Tiano whips him into the turnbuckle. Michaels up on the rope, flips over. Michaels, what a nice move that was. As he flipped high in the air, came up on his feet, goes in for a power slam. Of the go wild. It's all over. You gotta watch out for Jose there. I think he's gonna attack El Tejano. That's the type of man he is. You gotta watch out for him because that's what he's gonna do. Jose Lothario with Shawn Michaels as Michaels is gonna make his way up here now. And El Madrill will step aside for just a moment as Jose Lothario and Shawn Michaels come out. What an exciting match that was as Shawn Michaels makes his way in. Shawn, welcome to Texas All-Star Wrestling. Welcome back home. Thank you all, this is great. I've been waiting for this ever since I started wrestling. I went out, I was trained by the best wrestler there is, the greatest Mexican wrestler of all time, Jose Lothario. Oh, shoot. Uh, he sent me out. I've been to Mid-South. I've been to St. Louis, Japan, and now I was ready to come back to Texas and prove to these people that I can contend with people like Al Madrill, Chavo Guerrero, and all the rest. Well, Sean, uh, you got a great reception as you stepped uh, out of the dressing room tonight. All those people on the other side, they got the banners, they got the uh, plate scarves, and I know that makes you feel good. It makes me feel great. This is, this is a dream come true. This is, I'm so happy. It's, a, it's so great to be home. The Texas has filled me full of pride. I hope that these people can take pride in me now. Now you got to worry. Of course, you mentioned Chavo Guerrero and El Madrill. There are a lot of other big wrestling stars oh, yeah. here in Texas, all-star wrestling. Oh, yeah. And you'll have to face them. Oh, yeah. Hacksaw Higgins, the Samoan. Oh, the list goes on and on. It doesn't matter to me who I have to go through. I got a one-way ticket to the top and nothing's gonna stop me. I'm gonna do it for all these people out here, for Jose, and mostly for myself. This is the best state in the world. Well, John, I'm we'll glad be to be taking home. you all over the state, and the fans out there will be glad to see you. Oh, I'm glad to see them too. They're great. Thank you very much. Sean Michaels, welcome home. Sean Michaels, you'll be seeing him. He's coming your way. Stay tuned, because we've got another exciting match. Ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing on my right, weighing in at 225 pounds from New York City, New York, Paul Kelly. His opponent weighing in at 224 pounds from San Antonio, Texas, Rudy Gonzalez. Well, El Madrill, the crowd has died down just a little, and Shawn Michaels really turned him on in his opening match here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Now, I guess he's a friend of yours, pretty boy, Paul <laughs> Kelly, he would like to be called. Yeah, you know, this Shawn Michaels, a young little punk to me, but look at pretty boy right here. Now, the people are gonna come up for him, too. Well, pretty boy Paul Kelly battling it out with Rudy Gonzalez. 
Kelly went down. He's claiming already that Gonzalez pulled the hair. Well, you know, let me tell you something, Steve. This Shawn Michaels reminds me a lot of this Rick McCord. Rick McCord's a U.S. junior heavyweight champion, right? Well, how come he doesn't put that belt up? Now, here's a man and one pretty boy here, Kelly. He could take care of anybody. He should be the new champion right now. That McCord just don't have guts enough to put that title up. Well, Rick McCord, I'm sure, is watching Paul Kelly in the ring as Kelly hooks up with Gonzalez. There's an arm drag. He gets rid of Rudy Gonzalez, and Kelly's very proud of himself. Oh, now tell me that wasn't a beautiful move there, Steve. That was a good move. You see, you never give credit where credit's due. You just want to talk for the wrong side. Well, that's okay with me. I don't even worry about you. But this Paul Kelly, to me, is going to be the next junior heavyweight champion. Now, Gonzalez gets up with an arm dra uh, drop kick after that arm drag from Paul Kelly. Kelly goes back into the corner. Kelly turns around. He gets no sympathy from the crowd at all as the crowd is on the side of Rudy Gonzalez at this point in the match. They lock up in the referee's position. Gonzalez puts Kelly into the answer. You know, Madrill, you're worried about this guy and that guy. You have got some tough matches coming up on Texas All-Star Wrestling. You and your friend who's over there on the Spanish microphone right now, and I say your friend, Chavo Guerrero, will be meeting the Terminator and Jose Lothario. <laughs> well, let me tell you what, Steve. Do I sound worried to you? Does Chavo Guerrero sound worried to you? No, we don't. Because these fans know good and well when Chavo Guerrero and myself are in that wing, we back down from nobody. We'll wrestle anybody. We'll fight anybody, whether it's in the ring, whether it's out of the wait ring. Minute, wait, I don't care who it is. Wait a minute. I don't want to take away from this match, but you're talking about your fight. But I heard through the grapevine that you and Chavo Guerrero have gone to South Africa and are getting under contract 600-pound voodoo malamba, is that right? Steve, what do you think, we're idiots or what do you think? Of course we are bringing in somebody. You know, I have to say this, that Terminator is one of the biggest wrestlers I've ever seen in this business today, right, in his own mind, but I know I can take care of him, so can Chavo. But, you know, just in case we sometimes get, lose a little bit of edge and we need a little bit of help, you're right. We're bringing in 600-pound voodoo malumba, and these fans here in the state of Texas, they know exactly how big and how tough that man is. So Terminator, I think, has met his match. Well, voodoo malumba will be here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Tell people how big he is, Steph. Well, he's going to be here next week. He's 600 pounds, maybe a little more <laughs> than that. There's a fist from Kelly, very plain fist to me, but he did it away from the referee. He does it again. He does it away from the referee. Hey, he's play. just fighting fire with fire. I mean, if this Rudy Gonzalez wants to do it, well, so can Paul Kelly. Nice backflip there as Kelly got in front, flipped Rudy Gonzalez high in the air. Kelly has him covered up. There's a count. It's two. A count of two. Oh, there's a backbreaker by Paul Kelly, who is looking for Rick McCord in that USA Junior Heavyweight title. There's a count of two on Rudy Gonzalez. You're watching Texas All-Star Wrestling, coming to you from the Wrestlethon in San Antonio, Texas. That's right, Steve, the greatest wrestling in Texas right now. But I'll tell you one thing. I was in the dressing room, and I was talking with a pretty boy, and he said he wants Rick McCord. He thinks he Rick McCord. He eats Rick McCord. He does a lot of things about Rick McCord. That's all he's got on his mind, Steve, is Rick McCord. He wants that junior heavyweight champion. And what does Rick McCord do? He avoids him. He runs away from him. What's it going to take for Rick McCord to put his belt up? I don't know. I'm sure Rick McGord is ready to put that title up. But pretty boy better be worried about Rudy Gonzalez right now. As Gonzalez really punishing in that left arm. Gonzalez goes for the head. Gonzalez is going for a suplex. Will he get him? Oh, he turns him over. Kelly's legs into the ropes. Here's a pin. Nope, he doesn't quite get it. He doesn't need to be worried about Rudy Gonzalez. This is just a warm-up to Rick McCord. Rick McCord, I know you're listening to me on the monitor in the dressing room. Why don't you put your belt up? Why don't you be a man? You're supposed to be a people's champion. You're for the people. You're for them. Whatever. Well, then put your belt up. Let's see what kind of man you are. Kelly grabs Gonzalez by the arm, takes him all the way across the ring. Oh, look at Rudy Gonzalez. Look at the move from Rudy Gonzalez. And Kelly says, wait a minute. Yeah, I'd run too if somebody pulled my hair. There's no hair pulling. It's just a nice head scissor. Rudy Gonzalez was one of the nicest moves I've ever seen him make, and a great move for anybody in the ring. I suppose you're going to tell me Jose Lothario taught him this move too, Steve. Well, you know, I've seen Jose uh, around with Rudy Gonzalez here lately, so you never know. They lock up the fingers on one hand, lock them up in the other hand, and it's Gonzalez and Kelly battling for the leverage. 
So far, it's a standoff. But right now, in my book, I have Paul Kelly way ahead on points. Well, there's only one thing wrong with that, Alan Grill. We do not keep track of points in professional wrestling. Well, if they were, he'd be ahead anyway. Don't worry. Steve, don't be contradicting me what I say. Gonzalez down. Kelly covers him up. One, two. Rudy Gonzalez kicks out. Referee he kick out. He just gave him a chance. What's the matter with it? See, I don't know about you, Steve Stack. Well, Kelly covers him up from in front. Now, that may be a choke hold or a smother hold there by Kelly. He may be smothered. Now, how do you know it's not a sleeper hold? Right away, it's a choke hold. What kind of commentator are you? Well, it doesn't look like a sleeper hold to me from the position he had. It looked like it was on the throat. Now, Gonzalez reverses it anyhow and comes up with a hammer lock. Drops a knee into that arm. Well, you see right now, um, Paul right now is thinking, always thinking of how to get out of holes, how to make the next move. And I'm sure right now he's thinking about Rick McCord. Yeah, Rudy Gonzalez is a tough little cookie. Little cookie. He wants the big apple, baby, and that's Rick McCord. Gonzalez punishing that left arm of pretty boy Paul Kelly as Gonzalez still has it locked up in a hammer lock position. Referee Fred Sinclair gets a one count on Paul Kelly. Gonzalez still holding onto that arm. Next week, Voodoo Malumba, all <laughs> 600 pounds of him, will be here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. And then Al Madrill, you can hear him chuckling in the background. It's funny voodoo, how the word voodoo, got out. Voodoo. <laughs> hey, Steve, I don't care who knows about Voodoo coming in. I had to fight fire with fire. I'm no idiot. I bring in my good friend, Voodoo Malumba. I said, we got this big guy here claiming he's the biggest, the toughest in the world. And the voodoo man said, voodoo. <laughs> That's right. When voodoo says voodoo, everybody listens. I'll have to say that. A little choking now from Kelly as Gonzalez over that middle rope. Referee finally gets him to back out of there. Kelly right, grabs him by the hair. Al Madrill up here cheering Paul Kelly on as Kelly uses that fist again. Pops Rudy Gonzalez to the side of the jaw, puts him into the corner. The referee counts, and he breaks it a count of two, and before he does it, he throws that forearm. Kelly with another forearm. Kelly grabs Gonzalez by the head. Nice snap mare, pulls him out of the corner, and I Kelly goes in. Now, this that. may be a sleeper hold. Oh, now you're going to determine which is which is not a sleeper, right? When you, why don't you get in the ring one of these days, Stack, and see what you can do? Well, I just believe I'll stay up here. Al Madrill pacing up and down here on the podium as we watch Paul Kelly hold on to the head of Rudy Gonzalez. The referee, Fred Sinclair, is checking that left arm. Gonzalez is not out yet. As you see him, hold that arm up. It won't be long, he's gonna be out of it right now. I'm sure he's thinking right now and wishing it was Rick McCord, but I know Rick McCord is not man enough to put up his belt. He's not man enough. Well, Kelly gets an elbow, he gets another elbow. Here comes Gonzalez, knocks him down with a shoulder tackle, and a knee by Kelly sends Rudy Gonzalez reeling to the mat. A knee to the top of the head. Little Mexican kid there don't look so hot, does he? <laughs> He's looked pretty good during the whole match. Oh, did he catch one that time? Reversal. Kelly into the turnbuckle. Gonzalez going for a monkey flip. Oh, and Kelly holds onto the ropes and gets rid of Rudy Gonzalez. Paul what Kelly. Move. What a great move he just made there. I think this could be it. Look at that break. Oh, what a quick snap of the neck. Here comes the count. The reverse neck breaker is going to be the end. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? He's waiting for Rick McCord. The reverse neck breaker, and we go down with pretty boy Paul Kelly defeating Rudy Gonzalez. Stay tuned because we'll be back with another match right after this. This match, ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing to my right, weighing in at 207 pounds from San Antonio, Texas, Manuel Villalobos. His opponent, weighing in at 221 pounds from Charlotte, North Carolina, the U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, Rick McCord. Now the bell sounds, and here is the USA Junior Heavyweight Champion, Rick McCord, coming into the ring. 
You know, Rick McCord, you were kind of bad mouthing him a while ago, and he's going to be in here. As you heard the introductions from Marty Martinez, the court is going up against Manuel Villalobos. <laughs> now, see, now you misunderstand me there, Steve Stack. I am not bad mouthing Rick McCord. I'm telling this man here, if he's any kind of man, why doesn't he put his title up against Paul Kelly, the pretty boy? Well, we'll see. McCord, it's possible we may get to interview him later on today here on Texas All Star Wrestling. I want to tell you that Texas All Star Wrestling, when it comes to your city, invite the whole family out to the matches. And I know it's a great night with the professionals from Texas All Star Wrestling. And I'm sure Al Madrill would like to invite all his fans to come join the match. <laughs> about that, Steve. Let me tell you what. From now on, when the people call down to the arenas, they can ask to be sitting in the Alma Drill section. Oh, we have a special Alma Drill section now. Well, that's that's possible. Anything's possible with Alma Drill and Chavo Guerrero. McCord finds himself being head scissors by Villalobos. I'll tell you what, Villalobos has come up with a couple of nice moves here early on in the match. Well, I guess I might have to say something good about him. Uh, not that I want to, but uh, he was voted Rookie of the Year, so the kid knows a little bit. But, uh, you see, this is the type of uh, guys that Rick McCord wants to wrestle, guys that are Rookies of the Years, or he knows maybe he's kind of favored in the match. Why doesn't he go up against Paul Kelly? And let's see how favorable he is then. I just don't understand why you're stuck on... Paul Kelly, nice leg scissor there by Rick McCord as he caught Bill Lobos coming off those right. And then he has that leg locked. Hey, don't misunderstand me. This Rick McCord has got to be great because he is the U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion. He didn't get that belt by no fluke. You know, there was a big tournament that was worldwide, and he came on top. So after defeating 10, 12 wrestlers, whatever it was, yeah, I've got to say Rick McCord is good. But a good champion is only as good as how many times he puts that belt up, Steve, and he's not done that yet. Well, uh, Rick McCord still has the legs of Bill Lobos locked up tight. Referee Fred Sinclair in there checking to make sure that Manuel Bill Lobos might say he wants to concede the fall, but knowing Manuel, I don't believe he will at this point in the match. And Bill Lobos comes out, but he doesn't come out long as Rick McCord reaches down, grabs that arm, pulls it up in a hammerlock position. Well, I'll tell you what, I guess both of these guys are maybe a little they got a little class there Steve I don't want to give them too much you know and you keep saying why do I keep putting over this Paul Kelly it's not so much that Steve it's just that if Rick McCord would be a man and put his title up once in a while then maybe just maybe I might call him a man well Rick McCord holy God you know you're talking about a little class some of the things I've seen you run around with lately I wouldn't say were too class oh now you're gonna interfere in my private life just never mind about that Steve and put your intentions on this match Rick McCord Manuel Villalobos. Arm bar by Villalobos. Oh, there's a nice scissor of the legs by Villalobos, and he goes to the arm bar on the left arm of the USA Junior Heavyweight Champion, but the champion continues to fight out and throws him off. Coming next week, and also today, a little later on, we're going to see the hood. And he's going to be here with us for a few weeks on Texas All Star Wrestling. Bill almost gets high in the air. You're right, the mysterious hood. I've known this man for many years, Steve Stack. I figured you'd say that. <laughs> He's my kind of wrestler, and the fans will see him uh, very shortly. There's a hip toss by Rick McCord as the referee Fred Sinclair had a one count on Villalobos. I want to invite all you fans, if you're in San Antonio on Monday nights, we're at the Wrestlethon, which is located at the corner of Blanco Road and Fulton Street. Come on out, we'd like to see the matches get underway at 8.30 as McCord reaches up and grabs the head of Bill Lopez and puts him down. McCord holds on to the head of Manuel Villalobos. Steve, just don't worry about Rick McCord, you know. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm sound like I'm repeating myself, but I don't mean to. It's just that I want this man to prove himself. You know, if I was the champion, I'd be defending it every night, every day, everywhere. I'm not, you know, that's the kind of champion I'd be. Well, it's Al Madrill's words as he talks about the USA Junior Heavyweight Champion McCord. McCord comes underneath the arm, goes to the abdominal stretch. Bill almost reaching down, trying to grab the leg to pull off the pressure, and he does. 
Nice move from Manuel Villalobos as uh, the report had the, there pulling the trunks, didn't you? They had the abdominal stretch on him. There's a slam from Villalobos. Villalobos coming off the rope. A knee right across the chest. Here's a count, and it's one on the champion. These, you know, both of these guys are cheating each other, Steve. What kind of match is this? McCord going for the pin, only got a one count. Rick McCord, USA Junior Heavyweight Champion, will be defending that title in Texas, Ohio, other cities around the United States. Okay, when? Well, maybe. When, Steve? When is it going to happen? I haven't seen the contracts as of yet, but I can guarantee you it's going to be very soon. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Villalobos takes the champion down. There's a count. It's two. Rick McCord, Manuel Villalobos here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. I want to tell all you great wrestling fans up in Ohio, we're coming back. <laughs> you can tell them that because I don't want to go back there. It's too cold. It's not cold in Ohio now. The temperature's in the 80s and 90 degrees. Well, you know, last time I went up there, Steve, the fans did not like me. But you know what? I don't like them either. <laughs> McCord working on the left leg of Manuel Villalobos. McCord really punishing that leg now as he holds on. All that pressure as he twists is on the ankle and on the knee. Yeah, this is one run devious move there, Steve. Maybe I would like to enlighten you on something. You know that years ago, you talked about me, my career years ago. Well, I used to be the world junior heavyweight champion. Explain that one. I know, and uh, you won the title in Houston, Texas. Uh, you held it for some time. But now the weight doesn't allow you to be a USA junior heavyweight champion. Well, you know, I... I it's getting towards summertime. I might even lose a little bit of weight and get in there and then take this belt away from Rick McCord. And just give it to Paul Kelly because if I do or I don't, Kelly's going to beat him anyway. The Lobo slingshots off of that leg of Rick McCord as the champion begins to feel the pain now as Bill Lobo step inside toehold. Bill Lobo's punishing the left leg of USA Junior Heavyweight Champion Rick McCord. There's a boot up to the side of the head. That gets rid of Villalobos. Well, I'll tell you what. This has been a good match, Steve. I have to, uh, if I have to say that, I will. But it's been a good match. It's been about even, I think. But uh, here I go repeating myself one more time. Where is... I know you're going to say, where is the title That's on the right. line? That's Why doesn't right. he? Well, he's going to put that title on the line. I can guarantee you that. And I feel like he'll probably walk out of the ring with the title still around his way. <laughs> That's your opinion, Steve, and it don't mean nothing to me. Here comes Phil Ovos. Oh, McCord, cross body block. One, two, three. One, two, three. There he goes. Here comes Paul Kelly. <laughs> Kelly is coming into the ring. <laughs> Maybe this will wake up Rick McCord, huh? See what kind of champion he is. See, look at, you see what I'm saying? Oh, McCord has him up. Cross body block off that middle rope, and then Kelly come flying out of the dressing room, trying to hurt McCord so that McCord probably couldn't get that title on the line. It's gone too far now, Steve. It's gone too hey, far. Yeah, you don't have any business coming out of that dressing room and jumping around. I tried to reason with the man. I tried to say, take that title down from the shelf, dust it off, and bring it out and defend it against me because I am the number one junior heavyweight, not only at Texas All-Star, but in the world. So now it's warfare. And when I go to war, I'm very heavy, man. Very heavy, Rick McCord. So he can forget about his bow tie, and he forget about that darn music he plays. It's going to be me and him in the ring. You're not only Jack McCord, you've changed your image. You uh, want to be called Pretty Boy. I am a pretty boy. I didn't change nothing. I always been a pretty boy. Everybody knows that. McCord came around here trying to look like me, trying to cash in on my reputation. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. 
<laughs> Kelly, I, I hope you do get that chance at that USA Junior Heavyweight I'll bet you do. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Kelly looking for a chance to get Rick McCord in the USA Junior Heavyweight title. Stay tuned because we'll be back with another great match here on Texas All-Star Wrestling right after this. This event, ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing to my right, weighing in at 248 pounds, from Missouri, Ken Johnson. <laughs> weighing in at 405 pounds, the Terminator. Well, El Madero, oh, here comes Johnson quickly on the Terminator. The Terminator turns around, a big forearm, and that is a big forearm. He whips Johnson into the ropes. Close lines him. Oh, man broke his rib. Man broke his neck. Yeah. Man broke every bone in his body. He has Johnson up. High in the air. He slams him down. Look out. Here comes 405 pounds. Whoa, it's all over. It's all over. Hey, Madrill, come here. Very quick. About 20 some seconds. Hey, wait a minute. El Madrill and Chavo Grill have taken off. They've gone into the ring. They're going out. The Terminator. They are kicking and punching the Terminator. The Terminator trying to get up. Here comes Jose Lothario. He's got a chair. And before he ever gets in the ring, Al Madrid and Chavo Guerrero leave. But the Terminator making very quick work. The Terminator making very quick work for Ken Johnson as he took him on about 20 seconds. There's a big clothesline, had him high up in the air, threw him down, and then flew on top of him with that 405 pounds, and it was all over. El Madrill, Chavo Guerrero have headed to the dressing room. Let's get Jose Lothario and the Terminators. They make their way up here on the stage after that. What's the matter with these people, man? Huh? What's the matter with them, huh? I don't understand these people, Jose. You know, it's the same huh? topic they got with men as that Armand Hussein. Huh? They're very traitors. You never know what they're going to do. And we really don't trust El Madrill and Chavo Guerrero. But don't get upset. you got all day Sunday, okay? They can't do anything Just, on us. I'm looking for them. I'm going to take and take care of them for once. I'm telling you. Jose. Right. Okay, you just listen to me, please. Don't I do anything fair. drastic. Don't do anything drastic. You just wait for Sunday, and I guarantee you one thing. I hold one guy, and then you get the other. Anything you want to do, do with him. Do you yeah, understand? Man, I'm going to get him. I'm going to take care of him. I'm tired of this. Okay, Steve, I'm sorry we come interrupt you like this because, you know, the man is made us upset, but I guarantee you he's going to get even with the guy. So just well, don't worry. It's a shame oh, that people like Al Madrill and Chavo Guerrero come running out of the dressing room that you have to come out with a chair to run them off. Those guys would do anything. That's right. Not only that, but, you know, I bring the chair because there's two guys. The man was down, and I'm going to get even with Al Madrill. Right. One way or another one, I'm going to get even with him. And mainly with the guy over here, over here, the big man is going to be. You just listen to me, please. Right. Jose, I heard earlier, and I asked Al Madrill, about it. Understand that he and Chavo Guerrero are going to South Africa and are picking up a 600 pounder by the name of Voodoo Maloma to come in and equalize the tournament. Personal, let me tell you one thing, Mr. Steve Stock. I don't care if Al Madrid will bring his mother. We're going to be right here because we're going to get ready him. And I guarantee you that. Madrid will start a war. He's not going to finish. And I'm going to guarantee you one thing. I'm going to get ready him because a lot of people try to get ready me before and they cannot do it. But I'm going to prove that we're going to do it. Well, Terminator, congratulations on that victory and it didn't take you very long to get rid of uh, Ken Johnson. I'm sure you'd like to get rid of Al Madrill and Chavo Guerrero about that quick. Yes, sir, I sure would. And I'm going to be ready to get rid of them. You just watch. I'll be in the ring with Jose, who's one of the best men around here. I've never felt so good like I feel right now. I feel full. I feel ready. I can, I, I'm with the kids every day. I'm hitting it hard in the gym. I'm ready, and I'm willing, and I'm able, and I'm going with this Jose here, the greatest man, greatest wrestler there is. You sat back for a long time. You wanted to get in the ring with this man. I'm telling you, yeah, I, I went the wrong way, you know, to get in the business, but this man showed me a way, showed me a light, you know, and I'm really, I'm just so full of enthusiasm right now. It's just hard for me to talk, Steve. Thank you very much, Terminator. Thank you, Jose Lazario. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because we'll be back with a masked man known as the Hood right after this.
This match, ladies and gentlemen, will fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing on my right, weighing in at 230 pounds, from parts unknown, The Hood. His opponent weighing in at 226 pounds, from San Antonio, Texas, Dusty Woods. Well, El Madrill's back. I noticed you bailed out in a hurry a while ago when Jose came with a chair. Hey, Steve, what are you talking about? We had to go in there and defend ourselves, and we left only because you're right, because Jose brought that chair. He had no business doing that. Well, you had no business going to the ring, but let's go to the ring now where the hood is. I've never seen a hood in action, but I can tell you right now from the first few moves, he's going to be a name to be reckoned with here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. There's a knee right across the chest of Dusty Wood. You're right, Steve. He's probably one of the greatest mass wrestlers I've ever seen in my life. And you know, in Mexico, that's all they got is all their big top name mass men, right? You know that, right? That's right. Well... They can come over here from Mexico, swim across, fly across, whatever they have to do, and this Mr. Hood will take care of them. He is not a, he is not a Mexican wrestler, then I guess you're telling me. That's exactly what I'm telling you. He's one of my kind of people. Well, the Hood, with a knee to the side of the head of Dusty Woods, and the Hood in his first appearance here on Texas All-Star Wrestling, in control completely. Elbow to the top of the head. There's another one as he keeps Dusty Woods into the corner. He is breaking, and then he comes out and he goes right back. I'll give him credit. He is breaking when the referee says hey. break, but he comes back with an elbow as he keeps Woods into the corner. Now he gets him out, throws him into the rope, gets in front. Oh, Dusty Woods has hooked him. Can he get him off balance? Dusty Woods trying to get him down. He does. Here he goes. One count. <laughs> is Dusty Woods? Where is he from? Where is he from? San Antonio. <laughs> Have you seen a great San Antonio wrestler yet? Villa Lobos is from here, Rudy Gonzalez is from here, and now this Dusty Woods is from San Antonio. Well, he ain't doing so hot, is he? Well, Al Madrill here on Texas All-Star Wrestling watching the hood take Dusty Woods down. Dusty Woods goes down for a two count. Did, Wood, did Woods kick out or did the hood pull him up? <laughs> I'm sure the hood pulled him up. He could have beat him right there, Steve. But, you know, he wants to give him one more chance, and I don't think he's even going to give him that. A knee to the midsection puts Dusty Woods back. I'm trying to I'm trying to go back in all my years of professional wrestling and see if I've ever run across a man battling like this hood, and I can't place one. He is an original, baby. He's one of the greatest wrestlers in the world today, like I said. So if they want to bring over these big Mexican wrestling stars with their mask, let's have a match against the hood over here in the good old USA. Woods down for a count as the hood comes back up. The hood. Now here comes Dusty Woods, lays one to the side of the head. Uh, the hood as the hood staggers across the ring, lays on the rope. Woods in behind with a forearm as he has the hood on the ropes across the way here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. The hood coming off the ropes. He ducks underneath. That. Oh, <laughs> what a smart move that you see that he ducked and then he tripped Dusty with his leg. Now tell me that wasn't a great move, Steve. Well, Dusty Woods went down. There's the hood laying one to the side of the head of Dusty Woods. <laughs> the hood grabs the hair, breaks the boots. This isn't San Antonio's best, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Al Madrill. Watch this is, look, at, look at this move now here, Steve. You won't believe this move here, baby. Oh, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've uh, never uh. seen a pile driver done that way. He slid him right down the legs and then just put him down for a count of one, two, three, and the hood. Can you imagine how many guys are going to go down from that move, Steve? He's beaten a lot of people that way. Put him out of wrestling. Well, the hood don't look like he's through yet as Dusty Woods has gone down. And let's see, the hood really punishing the head of Dusty Woods. I've never seen a power driver applied that way. <laughs> You've probably never seen him because this man invented this move. He's great. Talk to him. He'll tell you all about it. Well, here he comes right now. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get him in here. And it is my first look. That's right. The hood has come to Texas. Long-awaited visit, brother. Long-awaited visit. Texas All-Star Wrestling wants nothing but the best. Well, you got nothing but the best. The Hood. H-O-O-D. H. 
for the most handsome wrestler in wrestling. As you can see, these people you've been talking to all night long are nothing. Double O! Ounce for ounce. The finest, scientific, finest, brutal, finest, easy come, easy go wrestler in the world. And D for dastardly, deceiving, and last but not least, dangerous. You all remember those words and remember them good. Because me and the hacksaw are coming in a tag match. And baby, we're so bad, we're finer than wine. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing about it. He has a lot of good words to say about himself, and he really proved himself in the ring. Stay tuned because we've got another one coming right after this on Texas All Star. This event, ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing to my right, weighing in at 255 pounds, from Hawaii, the Honorable Arman Hussein presents the Samoan. From Georgia, weighing in at 255 pounds, Tom Jones. The Honorable Arman Hussein has come into the ring with a Samoan from the South Pacific, and he's going against Tom Jones. Hussein steps out of the ring. You know, Hussein is beginning to take uh, quite a few wrestlers under his <laughs> tutorship, you might say. <laughs> Hussein and I, Steve, go back a long, long time. I heard y'all talking about yes, some of right. the things that you've done in professional <laughs> wrestling. We put a lot of wrestlers out of work. You know, Hussein is on the telephone constantly in his office, always talking to different wrestlers, bringing them in to the greatest Texas All-Star Wrestling. Yeah, you're right. He does have a lot of guys, but he's paying out a lot of money to get these big names in here, Steve. Tom Jones has a Samoan into the corner. Jones pulls him out, throws him down. Well, if you fans are wondering where the American force is tonight, we want to tell you that Nick Kaniski has gone back home to receive his college diploma and graduate oh. with his college class. The American force will be here next week, and that hood will be back plus Voodoo Malumba. The American Force is getting his college degree. Now, isn't that of great importance to these fans? I suppose afterwards, they're gonna give him a little milk and cookies and he'll go off to his room and be happy, right? Well, they'll they'll probably have a him. big graduation return <laughs> for him when he You know where back. he graduated? The high. <laughs> Side headlock by the... <laughs> knocks Tom Jones down with that fist as Armon Hussein blows that whistle. Every time he blows that whistle, it's a signal for the man into the ring to do something. Oh, you know that for a fact, do you, Steve? You don't know anything, just like these fans that are listening to me don't know anything. I'll tell you what, Steve, I've wrestled all over the world, and I'll tell you what, these are probably some of the worst fans I've ever seen in my life, whether I'm wrestling down in the Valley, whether I'm wrestling in Ohio, or Chicago, or New York, or New Jersey, or Colton, California. I don't care about these fans at all, so if they want to boo me and not tell me they like me, ask me if I care. Well, I'm sure everywhere you go, you don't have too many people cheering for you right now. And I know you don't care. The Samoan comes out with the arm, puts the big twist in it, comes out with a kick to the chest. Remember, Texas All-Star Wrestling coming to your city. Come on out and enjoy a night with the professionals, Texas All-Star Wrestling. And any of you civic organizations out there are looking for a way to raise money, get in contact with Texas All-Star Wrestling, and we'll see if we can help you out. Just call. Call us in San Antonio or drops the line. It's 831 Fulton Street, San Antonio, Texas. Zip code is 78212. Now, if these fans that can do that, Steve, if they're lucky, I might even put myself in one of those towns, if they're lucky. A kick by Tom Jones as he grabs the Samoa and whips him into the rope. Doubles that fist up, gets it into the right, midsection. Right. Is fist legal or illegal, Steve? Tell the people that. Here's up for a slam. Of course, you don't say nothing. Jones has him covered up, but it's a two count. Tom Jones had him down for a two count. Now the Samoan comes up with a fist and a big knee lift, and that puts Tom Jones in the center of the ring. <laughs> and you know what, Steve? After this match, after the Samoan defeats him, Tom Jones is going to go out there and shine my shoes. <laughs> Tom Jones being held by the Samoan. Hear the fans saying Samoa win, Samoa win. They want the Samoan to win. You see that? What am I saying? I thought they were yelling TJ, TJ. 
as Tom Jones has him in the corner now. Tom Jones going after the Samoan. They lock up, they lay on the ropes. The Samoan in front with a big forearm across the chest. Another forearm across the chest. You heard the whistle from Hussein as they exchange blows here in front of us. That's right, Steve, like you said, He's bringing in the greatest wrestlers in the world, and pretty soon, the voodoo man will be here to take care of the Terminator. <laughs> oh, oh, who's, Hussein has reached in. Hussein has oh, reached in. Oh, no, no, that was an accident. That's going to be a disqualification as Armand Hussein has reached in and tripped Tom Jones. That's going to cost it to Cost the Samoa in the match. Yeah, yeah. I saw Hussein reach in and grab the leg. That was an accident. He was trying to tie his shoe. Well, oh, I can't the believe this move. asked for the bell. That's a disqualification on Armand Hussein and the Samoan. That makes Tom Jones a winner. And we still have a little time left here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. And now you compadres are together. <laughs> You're right, people. You tell him, John. Now we got the fear in him. We got the fear of Guerrero and Madrill. Terminator, huh? The next time he sees us in the ring, he's not gonna be smiling with that goofy look he's got, that funny face he's got. He's gonna be, no, what's gonna happen? This was just a little, just a little taste, Terminator. Just a little taste of what Chavo Guerrero and Al Madrid can do. Es nada más una, un poquito, nada más una prueba de lo que te va a pasar a ti, ya José Lotario. You know what? Sea World is coming here, and I think they advance Shamu to get here ahead of time. <laughs> Terminator, I don't care about you, baby. Anytime you're ready. Did you fancy? Where was the Terminator when we left the ring, yeah. baby? Where was the Terminator? <laughs> he's big, but when he gets in the mat, he's the same size as he we are. That's right, so baby. Terminator, you bit off. You bit off more than what you chew, you can chew. You barked up the wrong tree. You want to play frog and jump on this lily pad? Come on, baby. We're not a friend of you. No we way, don't care baby. if you're that big or this wide. And you got the best wrestler supposedly in the world, Jose Lothario. Well, come on, daddy. Come on. Because we are Chavo Guerrero and Al Madrill, the super tech team of the century, brother. Jose Lothario, yo soy tu padre, Lothario. No vales nada. Yo soy tu padre. I'm Lothario's father, baby. And I'll tell you what, Lothario. Ladies and gentlemen, time has expired.